Fulton. We're starting to see this system move north. We are, yes. Uh, a little bit of a messy start to our day. Already creeping up along 3990 in Janesville. Some light snow falling closer to Monroe. We're still cloudy in Madison, but comes along with some freezing fog right now. So even though we don't have anything falling from the sky from much of Dane County, Iowa County right now, still is just a little wet, a little slick in spots. Same goes for Jefferson County. As this lifts north, we're going to watch the rest of the area pick up a little more light snow and light freezing drizzle. Temperatures sitting on the warmer side of things currently. We're in the low 30s. So actually, this is good news. It means that our, our freezing ice chances kind of going down a little bit for us. We've updated our maps just uh, a second ago to take a closer look at this for this is our breakdown with our future track as this lifts north by daybreak. We'll have this light snow coming down mixed with freezing drizzle through much of the morning. So while our ice chances are going down even just a little bit can really make our road conditions slick outside. So please keep that in mind throughout the morning. This afternoon transitions over to light snow, but this is going to be some slushy snow. Temperatures will be in the low 30s, so that'll be mixed with rain throughout the afternoon. Continues until about mid afternoon clearing off to the east. I do think nothing will be falling during your evening commute. However, we're going to have wet roads at that time, so that evening commute likely moving pretty slow. Snowfall totals at one to two inch range for much of southern Wisconsin areas north of the Wisconsin River. Likely not seeing much, if anything, trace amounts, possibly some isolated folks getting closer to an inch. Ice amounts hovering a little closer to the state line for those higher totals near a tenth of an inch, but I do think uh, lesser amounts possible drifting up towards Madison. The same goes off to the west and notice this is right along 94, so north of 94 likely not seeing much, but south of it, that's where we're going to have the big concern for ice. We get through this event and then we look ahead to rain chances on Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning, so we have a break overnight and then more rain building in early in the day. I do think we'll have a little mixed precipitation, but rain chances expected through the afternoon and heading into Thursday. Today, high temperatures in the mid 30s. So as this transitions over to snow, it is going to be slushy. We'll hold on to that fog through the day. Fog chances tonight with that mixed precip ending early this evening. Tomorrow rain returns with high temperatures climbing to the upper 30s. Taking a look at this extended forecast. We have a lot of days in the upper 30s. Actually, again, we get through this event today. More rain chances expected Wednesday and Thursday. Upper 30s for highs heading through the weekend with overnight lows trending above freezing through the weekend as well.